Here I've got a Pioneer DEH P9600MP and I'm going to go over the RCA output voltages for each of the RCA outputs and I will also show how to use an oscilloscope to do this and go through the menu settings that will help you get better pre-out voltage but not sacrifice on the signal quality and cause clipping. So first I am powering this head unit with some uh, laptop adapter and the way I'm going to get a 40 hertz uh, test tone signal to this head unit is through this Bluetooth adapter that's blinking blue. It's wired in to powering ground and the IP bus adapter. Once, that, once the head unit receives the signal, it will go out through the RCA outputs. The RCA outputs are connected to an RCA cable that I destroyed <laughs> and cut the ends off so that I can get the, the positive signal that comes out of the red wire and that goes into my oscilloscope probe and the ground, which is the other wire and shield that are inside of the RCA cable that is being pinched by the alligator clip. And that is going into my oscilloscope. So when you have your oscilloscope ready, you want to turn it on. And go into your settings. You want to make sure to have everything on AC. So it's reading AC, AC signal and it's going to output the AC voltage, which is your RCA output voltage. And I will hold the function button and I need to get to the aux input and turn that on. Then I'll get it, go ahead and hit the source button and go to the aux source. Then I'll go to my phone and push play on the 40 Hertz track. Since I'm using the subwoofer outputs, I have to go into audio and I'm going to make sure my equalizer is on flat. I'm going to turn on the subwoofer and I'm going to change the resolution on the oscilloscope to two volts. So right now it's reading two and a half volts and I will now go into the audio settings to try to get a higher output voltage. So in order to do that, I'll hold the audio button and I'm going to go to my source level adjustment. And when I increase it, you'll see the voltage on the oscilloscope increase also. So right now with plus two, it's perfectly clean at four volts. If I go to a plus three, that's my song restarting. If I go to a plus three, I have to change my resolution. It changed down to one volt, so I have to change it to two. Now it shows 4.97, but you can see a clip at the top and bottom. So if I lower the volume one click, takes me down to 4.49 clean. Let's get it to 94 with the full volume on the head unit. And I'm clipping at 5.17. Take it down one click on the head unit. And it's pretty clean at 4.76. So this head unit with my phone at almost full volume, just one click lower than full volume. With the head unit, one click lower than full volume. And the oscilloscope will show that. So when you're trying to hook everything up and have the maximum clean volume, 
and maximum RC output voltage, you want to start with whatever's important to you. If you want to have your volume on your head unit all the way up and you know that it's clean, then turn it all the way up. Then I'll go to my phone that can be used for the Bluetooth audio. I'm going to turn it all the way up also. I come to my oscilloscope and I see 3.81 volts. It's still clean. That's great. That's some pretty good voltage. If I want even more voltage, since I already tested this and I can go to around 4.7, maybe 4.5, I'll go into the, the audio menu by holding audio. I'll go to my source level adjustment and I'm going to click it one at a time. I went up by one click. I'm at 4.76, super clean. So now my volume's all the way up on my phone and my head unit. And when I play a 40 Hertz turn or 40 Hertz test tune, oh my goodness. And I play a 40 Hertz test tone, I have 4.76 volts clean and I won't have to worry about anything. Some songs will play louder. So that's where you can either turn down the volume or go into your audio menu where you just push the audio button, don't hold it. And you can lower the level of your subwoofer here. So from here on out, I'll just be showing the output voltages for the rest of the RCA outputs and keeping my volume at the max unclipped level to see where the lowest uh, output voltage number is. And that's the one you'll actually want to use. Even though this one output is sending out 4.76 clean volts, another output could put out 4.2. Do you want to stick with that 4.2 output and be careful with and mindful of that? If you push it any more than that, then that specific output will send a clip signal and that specific speaker or speakers receiving that signal could have the potential to be clipped and eventually burned out and need to be replaced. I switched to the white subwoofer RCE output and it also has a clean 4.76 volts. Then I switched to the white rear outputs and I'm not changing any of the settings. So this is still max volume on the head unit and max volume on my phone. With those same settings, I'm seeing 4.83 clean volts. I switched to the rear red or right output. Same max volume on my phone, same max volume on my head unit. I'm seeing 4.83 clean volts. Now I'm on the front outputs on the white RCA and I'm getting 4.83 clean volts. Lastly, I'm on the front red or right output and I'm getting 4.83 clean volts. Right here, I've got the Pioneer DEH P960MP that I just repaired and I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did with the 9600, except this radio is rated for six and a half volts. So let's see if getting the, the Premier model means some better RCA voltage. I have a, the same Bluetooth adapter hooked up to the back. I have the same RCA output harness. So it's the same exact harness. It's not a different quality. It's not broken. It's not upgraded. It's the same exact one going to the same oscilloscope. And I want to hit play on my test tone, just like last time. Go to the audio menu, flat equalizer, subwoofer on, and I'll turn the volume all the way up to 40. Make sure that my volume on my phone is all the way up. I'm seeing 5.32 volts. I'm using the white subwoofer output at the moment. So let's go to the source level adjustment and we'll turn that one click up. 
I see six and a half volts. It is definitely a soft clip at six and a half. All those pixels in a straight line, that's a definite clip. So I'm going to lower the volume one click and I got six volts clean. So if I turn it up to 39, it's a complete clip at 6.96 volts. It does do a little more than its regular version. So that's cool that it almost does what's advertised. I can't say for sure that it doesn't clip at 6.5 volts exactly because it's kind of hard to dial it down to five hundredths of a volt. I don't have the resolution for that and I would have to play with these settings a lot, but overall it, it does do a little bit more RCA voltage and that's just one of the subwoofer outputs. I'll test out the other outputs to see if any of them can pass this 6.5, 6.55 volt mark with clean output. Here I've got the red subwoofer output and it's reading 6.55 volts as well. Have a little fuzziness going on here. I don't like the look of that, so I wouldn't run this all the way up to that point. So without changing any of the settings, I went to the white rear output and it's showing 6.68 volts. If I take the volume down one click, I go to 6.14. All right here, I switched to the red rear output. I haven't changed any of the other settings on my phone or the head unit and it's reading at 6.68 volts. If I take the volume down one click, it goes to six volts even. So I just switched to the white front RCA jack and I didn't change any settings and it jumped up to 6.8. 82 volts. So if I drop the volume down one click, I get 6.14. If I go into the, since I'm using the front outputs, let's see if I play with the fader a little bit. So I'm going to fade to the rear and let's see what that does to the voltage. 6.14 also. My phone is all the way up. Let's see if I drop my phone down and I raise my volume all the way up to 40 and I have 4.97. Now let's go to the source level adjustment, raise that up a click. I'm at 6.14. 7.9, 7.09. Let's drop the volume one click down. I'm at 6.82. Looks like a soft clip. Drop the volume down again. And 6.14, so can't get it to the 6.5 mark. It wants to go between 6.14 and 6.8. So we got the red front output. We'll raise my volume on my phone back up to 100. Get the volume back up to 40 on the head unit. Let's see what we got. We have seven and a half, which is clipped. Let's go to that source level adjustment. Bring that down a notch. 7.23 clipped, bring it down another, 6.68. And this is an iffy signal. It 
kind of looks like a soft clip on the on the positive wave but this bottom wave looks pretty good so i say that this might be the one of the better outputs but to be safe i would go with one of those lower rca voltages that we saw earlier like 6.14 so with that being said, I'd say this is cool for just over six volts, but yeah, so there we go. The Premier head unit does have just a little bit better RCA voltage than its regular, um, regular version. Thanks for watching and feel free to enjoy my other videos. Subscribe and follow my Instagram page for future content and radios that I have for sale. So even though I'm making this go higher, looks like it just wants to stay still over here. Oh, duh. I'm on the subwoofer. It's the front output.